Today marks two years since George Floyd was murdered by a Minneapolis police officer. The Black Lives Matter movement, which followed, affected change around the country and here in New York. CBS 2's Ali Bauman sat down with some of the movement's leaders. When thousands of protesters filled the streets of New York City in 2020, calling for systemic change, you could find Shio Say in the center of the crowd week after week. We came into uh, the protest in 2020, or at least I did, wanting to change the entire system, but we can only do that when we're building power on a local level. Two years later, Osei is now a city councilman based in bed -Stuy. I'm still advocating for, for what I believe in. Um, there are some like-minded individuals uh, in the council that share my beliefs and views, but um, you know we, we are the, the minority. After the murder of George Floyd in Minneapolis, New York State passed some police reforms, which include banning chokeholds, limiting qualified immunity, and repealing 50A, which sealed disciplinary records for officers found guilty of misconduct. The NYPD disbanded its plainclothes anti-crime unit, but a new iteration has since been created under Mayor Adams, a former cop. About a year after George Floyd's uh, uh, death, politicians forgot about us. Hawk Newsom is co-founder of Black Lives Matter Greater New York. People were scared because there was crime in the streets, so they became pro-police again. The streets may have cleared, but the fight continues. What are some of the most important things that you want to see happen for police reform here in New York? It's the fact that the CCRB uh, does not have that many teeth when it comes to holding the NYPD accountable is one of the simple asks that protesters um, and like-minded elected officials were asking for. The CCRB, Civilian Complaint Review Board, oversees and investigates NYPD misconduct. The ultimate decision for disciplinary action still remains with the police commissioner. In the wake of protests, the NYPD agreed on a disciplinary matrix with the CCRB to establish guidelines for police discipline. I asked the CCRB chair if that's been effective. The, the jury is still out. We definitely have utilized it in order to have more agreement. Osei and Newsom say the momentum from two years ago now continues on a local level. After George Floyd and all of the racism, black people are coming closer and closer together and building stronger communities. It did spark um, different thought within individuals. I really do believe that it inspired a young generation of leaders that um, are building the foundations of creating mass change um, in the future. Ali Bauman, CBS2 News. President Biden signed an executive order on law enforcement and reform. We'll have those details coming up later at 530.